Greetings, I'll be presenting about my journal, Non-Fungible Tokens, Its Potential Role in Combating Certificate Fraudulence in Malaysian Education. Non-Fungible Tokens, NFTs, are blockchain-based tokens that can stand for any digital asset, including certificates issued by educational institutions. Technological advancement made it possible for people to create fake certificates, and an NFT system has the potential to counter this phenomenon. In our current system of education, it's geared towards providing certification to people who are qualified. It's a widely accepted system in Malaysia and also worldwide. However, there are flaws to this system because fake certificates are rampant. With advancement in technology, it is more accessible for people to forge these certificates and it became a multi-billion dollar industry. If you find buy fake certificate on Google, it produces a lot of results and this is alarming. Many senior executives globally present qualifications they do not possess, which includes possessing fake certificates and this is a huge threat to civilization as a whole. This phenomenon is not alien to Malaysia because in Malaysia, fake certificates are mushrooming until this current day and all these are easily obtained online or via personal contacts. If this phenomenon of fake certificates keeps growing, it harms societies in a variety of ways, which includes giving individuals with unearned qualifications and unfair advantage over people who truly possess real certificates and this can cause plenty of negative consequences, consequences to society and an NFT system built upon the blockchain has the potential to counter this issue. Research questions. What are the ideas behind buying and supplying fake certificates in Malaysia and what are the potentials of introducing NFT and blockchain to counter this issue? Two of the literature reviews here are based upon certificates, while two other are based upon NFTs. So in our current labor market, it is widely accepted that people undergo education and then receive certificates to prove that they are qualified possessing the skills and they use it for job employment. And this system is widely accepted globally and also within the context of Malaysia. And all these certificates are not just about academic transcripts, but also micro-credentials and about their extracurricular activities, which are proven by the issuance of certificates for these people. Certificates are highly valued in Malaysian society by universities, graduates, students, parents, and also job employers. In this digital study, it discusses about the use of NFTs as ticketing systems, and also most importantly, Certification. The study highlights the vast untapped potential of using NFTs in industries such as education. So in this study, it outlines key steps in developing certification systems and technical and marketing considerations must be taken into account to develop an NFT system. In terms of methodology, qualitative research is used using an ethnography research approach and data are collected via interviews. The proposed use of NFTs to counter fake certificates requires examining the current public acceptance towards NFTs and also to understand the ideas behind people who buy and sell fake certificates. In terms of sampling, there are two major groups. Group A, buyers of fake certificates, and also Group B, sellers of fake certificates. And convenience sampling is used as it will not be easy to find respondents that qualify for both the inclusionary criterion. They have to be involved in this fake certificate industry and also be aware of NFT and blockchain technology that might put them out of business. Due to fraud involvement, respondents are anonymous. Trustworthiness are also addressed and also in when interviewing them, 
as much data as possible are to be collected and scrutinized. Here's the summary of the themes collected via the data collection. Desperate acts, cost and time effectiveness in terms of uh, getting certificates and employers tend to not go into further lengths to validate certificates. And also the issue of the lack of coordination, which allows fraud certificates to be rampant. So by respondent one, he bought fake certificates for permits to fly his drone. And in Malaysia, it's necessary to uh, get certificates for drone flight in which he did not obtain legally. And if any issue occurs, he may attempt to bribe his way through if any personnel halt his drone flights in operation. By respondent two uses certificates to qualify for a job in which he excelled and he does not see the issue of him using fixed certificates because he excelled in the job that he received. Seller Respondent 1 is aware that NFT will take him out of business in this fake certificate industry, but he sees that the lack of coordination in Malaysia between parties that use certificates will allow him to continue his business. And Seller Respondent 2 also mentioned about this and he notes the possibility that technological advancements such as artificial intelligence could cause clients to use AI to create realistic images and videos of university experiences and he believes that NFTs could be a solution to this issue but most Malaysian authorities and educational institutions have yet to propose strategies to address it. So here's the discussion based on the data that has been collected. Why do people buy fake certificates? Why is there a huge demand for fake certificates? And also the reasonings behind why this market is thriving due to the lack of adoption of NFTs and also blockchain technology, etc. Here are more questions that arise based on the data that has been gathered. So here's the conclusion based on the data that has been gathered in this journal. So plenty of strategies have to be involved in order to implement NFT technology to combat certificate fraudulence that has yet to be executed, not only in Malaysia, but also globally. And that's it. Thank you.